Hello everyone. I am Nagraj, your POF test coach. In this lecture, I will show you how to download Jmeter and set up Jmeter on Windows machine. And I will also show you how to download some custom plugins for Jmeter and how to import plugins into the Jmeter. So let's get started. So Jmeter is a very popular load testing tool and it is an open source performance testing tool. So you can download this Jmeter from jmeter.apache.org website. So let's go to this website. And here you'll be able to see the latest available Jmeter version binary files here. So currently Jmeter 5.3 is the latest version. So let me let me download this um, 5.3. zip file into my machine. So the file got downloaded. Now I will extract this file. And once I extract the file, we will see a folder structure like this. So there is no installation required for this Jmeter. We just need to extract the file and once we extract the files, we will see a lot of folders like this. You just need to go to bin folder. And we have a Apache Jmeter executable jar file here. Just double click on it. And this opens the Jmeter. So once you open the Jmeter, the layout looks something like this. So we have a test plan, but there are no elements in the test plan. So currently test plan is empty. So let's add thread group. So you need to note one thing here. So when we go under this thread groups, we see only three types of thread groups. So these are the default thread groups that come when th that comes along with the Jmeter installation. But there are a lot of thread groups available uh, which we can get it by installing some custom plugins. So for now, let me um, select this thread group. If you look at this thread group, it has a field where you can give number of threads that you want to run a test with. So let me select 10 threads here and you can give a ramp up so let me give ramp up 10 seconds so let me select this infinite loop count and so you need to specify the time duration in seconds in this field so what this thread group will do is it will start 10 threads and then and these 10 threads will take approximately 10 seconds to start and then the test will run for 300 seconds if i want to start 10 users first and then after 5 minutes I want to ramp up the users to 20 and after 5 minutes I want to ramp up the users to 30. Basically I cannot use this thread group to achieve this. So let me show you what I am trying to achieve. So I want to design a test scenario something like this. So I want the test scenario to start with 10 threads first and after some time I want the threads to be 20 and after some time I want threads to be 30 and then 40 threads. So to achieve this the current thread group whatever we have selected doesn't support this. But Jmeter provides a lot of custom plugins. So we just need to install the custom plugins and then we will be able to uh, create multiple thread groups and different kinds of thread groups basically. So I will show you how to, how to download uh, custom plugins for Jmeter and how to install the plugins. So to download any custom plugins, you just need to go to this uh, jmeters-plugins.org. So this website has got lots of Jmeter plugins. There are two ways to install Jmeter plugins. So the best way is to go to this install tab and download this plugins manager. And you just need to download this plugins manager.jar file and place in the slash lib slash ext folder of your jmeter so let me download this plugins manager so once this uh, jar file is downloaded we need to place this jar file in jmeter's lib folder so currently i'm in bin folder let me go to lib folder so inside lib folder you will see a folder called slash ext so you just need to come here and paste the plugins manager jar file here. The next step is to go to the Jmeter 
and in gemeter under options you see this plugin manager click on it and here it will show you all the installed plugins under this install plugins tab and if you want to install any new plugins all that you need to do is just click on this available plugins and this will show you list of different plugins that are available so I want to install this custom thread groups custom thread groups plugin so I have selected this and after selecting this custom thread groups plugin all that you need to do is just uh, click on this apply changes and restart gemeter so what this will do is it will apply the changes and it will restart the gemeter so you, you I will show you one more thing so in case if you want to uninstall some plugins all that you need to do is just uncheck you just need to uncheck and then click on apply changes and restart gemeter so this will uninstall the plugins so I want to keep this plugin so let me check in again so I'll go here I've already selected this custom thread group so let me click on apply changes and restart the gemeter so it will take a couple of seconds for the gemeter to apply the um, apply these new plugins and it will restart the gemeter so I don't want to save this thread group so I will just say no yeah so you see uh, some plugin got added here yeah so gemeter is starting up so once the gemeter starts we will be able to see the new plugins that we installed so let me go ahead and try to add thread group again so go to add go to thread threads or users see earlier we used to see only three default thread groups but now we have plenty of thread groups the thread group which I wanted was this ultimate thread group so let me select that see once you select this thread group you have options to create a scenario this is one way to install custom plugins into gemeter and there is one more way but I recommend using this um, gemeter plugin manager to install all the plugins because it's it's very easy and convenient but in case I will just show you the other option as well in case if you want to use it you can still go ahead and use the second option as well go to this gemeters hyphen plugins dot org and then click on the browse plugins so here you will see a list of different types of plugins that are available so let me search for graphs plugin so there are different types of graphs available um, I'm looking for yeah so I was I was looking for this graphs generator listener so if you click on this plugin you can read the description so it has got active threads over time and there are plenty of graphs which are available here so if you like this plugin and if you want to download this plugin you can just click on the download button and there is only one version available here so there is only 2.0 version available so let me download that yeah so it got downloaded so if you extract this plugin which you just downloaded you'll see a lib folder in it so what you need to do is just copy this lib folder and then go to jmeter installation folder so let me go to the jmeter folder see here you you see a lib folder already existing and if you see the size of this lib folder it is 54.8 mb so let me let me paste the lib folder which i just copied see what it has done is it has copied the files but it has not replaced the folder it has just copied the additional files into this lib folder so if you if you see the last modified files here you'll see a couple of files which got so there is one um, one file which got added at 11 21 pm so that's it the installation is done so all that you need to do is 
um, you just need to restart the JMeter and you'll be able to see this new plugin and you can use it. So that's all for this lecture. So I have showed you how to download and set up the JMeter on your Windows machine and I have also shown you uh, how to download and install custom plugins into the JMeter. I'm Nagraj, your Puff Test Coach.